from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you... care about it's a different kind of a radio talk program we're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon no i am your host i got our telephone number you're gonna need it it's 1-800-5-800-TOM 1-800- 5-800-866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. Uh, hey, Brooke. It's uh, it's me again, Brian. Uh, hi. Um, wasn't uh, sure if you got my last message. Or uh, any of the other ones. Um, a- anyway, I'll just leave a quick message because uh, you might be trying to call me right now, and I don't want to tie up the line. So I guess, um, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, give me a call. Um, uh, okay, I'm hanging up. In uh, three, two, one. Okay, call me back. I'll be here all day and tonight. Okay, bye. Uh, hey, me again. I uh, thought I might have heard a voice when I was hanging up. Nope. I uh, guess not. Okay, I will talk to you soon. Hello? Nope. Sorry. Hey, babe. Just uh, trying you again. Listening to our guy, Coltrane. <laughs> you know? it's Okay. Uh, and anyway, I got a fax uh, earlier about cheap airfare to Cancun. Uh, I didn't know if that was you trying to reach me. Um... Uh, you know, let me give you my home number again, just in case you lost it. Voicemail uh, is full. Damn. Package for Brooke Roberts. Oh, that's me. Thanks. Uh, hey there, me again. Uh, your voicemail was full, so I got you this answering machine. So, uh, what's going on? I was thinking about, uh, doing something tonight. Uh, hey, you're home. Listen, Brian, I want you to leave me alone or I am calling the cops. Look, I'm so in love with you. Oh! oh. Ah. It's like us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of like us 101, and I have not gone over the tenets recently. So it's time to uh, review with the class. The spring semester of Legacy 101 essentially is beginning now. So let's review. First of all, for those of you who have just registered for this class, let me tell you that uh, this is your opportunity to get out. This is Legacy 101. This is where we teach men how to get laid. If you are looking for the class that teaches you how to improve your marriage how to propose to your girlfriend, how to have a better relationship, how to woo someone. Uh, those uh, courses are being taught somewhere else, but they're not being taught here. So if your plan is to ask your professor about any of those things, you will not get any help here. I am not here to help you improve your marriage. I'm not here to help you improve your relationship. I am not here to tell you how to be Cyrano de Bergerac. I am not here to tell you how to make things better, how to grease the skids, what romantic things you can do to get to, to win her heart. That is not what we do here. So if your plan was to call your professor and ask any of those questions, hang up. Hang up. My job here as your professor, the course curriculum, is we tell men how to get laid by expending the least amount of money, time, and energy on those little princess bitches out there who jerk you around and then never give you what you came to get, which is to get laid. 
In our classroom, the purpose of dating is getting laid. Dating equals porking. So, Sparky, if you have a date set up for this weekend and you do not believe that you're going to get laid, cancel it. If you are not sure of your motivation for making the date, maybe you think it's to discuss whether Obama is better than Clinton, or maybe you made the date to discuss foreign films, maybe you made the date to try out the newest flavor of Frappuccino, cancel it. Dating equals porking. I can't say it enough ways, enough times. I am here to make sure you get laid. We have certain basic rules. Let me reverse the order of some of these because I think some of them get lost in the sauce sometimes. No single mothers. Stop with the single mothers. I don't want you dating single mothers. I don't want you having babies with anybody. I don't want you running the risk of having babies with anybody. It's condoms 100% of the time. And it's not because you're worried about HIV or AIDS or STDs because, you know, I can sit here like a school mom and lecture about this stuff. The point is every one of the millions of sperm that you uh, 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 let out into the atmosphere is like a little credit card with your name on it and a blank signature on the back just waiting for her to sign it. Every time you give your DNA to somebody else, it's like handing them the keys to your car or handing them a blank check. You are going to wear a condom because you don't want to be paying some broad for 30 seconds of ejaculation for the next 18 years. It's just that simple. Dating equals porking, but no single mothers, none. Acceptance to the rule, your testicles were shot off in the war in Iraq, you've got no testicles. Okay, then, date a single mother. Your sperm count is zero and you've had it verified six ways from Sunday. All right, but even then, don't tell her you have no sperm count because then she won't have sex with you. Because these women want to have more babies in many cases. All right? But in general, those of you who... uh who have a regular sperm count, and maybe you want to have kids 10 years from now, don't be dating single mothers. Don't Just don't do it. We don't spend more than $40 on a date. Zero is optimum. No need to be spending that kind of money. All right? Simple as that. I can't make it any simpler. Seriously. All right. Uh, we do not spend money. We do not waste time. Women are attention whores. We don't go shopping with them. We don't discuss marriage. We don't discuss having babies. We want to hit it and quit it, pump it and dump it, bang it and clang it. That's what we want to do. Remember, you're a man. And if you're one of the unfortunate adults who grew up without your dad around... You know who your dad is, right? That that guy your mom says is an a-hole? <laughs> She's the a-hole your mom wanted to have a baby with. Think about it. She had sex with an a-hole. That's how you were born. That's what turned your mom on. You need to be the a-hole. Nice guys don't get laid. You need to be a complete jerk and treat women like crap. It works. I am here to save you money, time, and energy. Dating chicks who are not going to give you what you want. My job is to help you avoid relationships, avoid commitment, and most importantly, to avoid marriage. We don't get married here. We get laid. And anybody who's married knows the difference between getting laid and getting married. Believe you me. So if you need help from your professor getting laid, more tail for less money, call me at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. If you are a woman or a man who disagrees with your professor, I encourage a vigorous classroom discussion at 1-800-5800-TOM. And if you live in another country where this stuff is shocking and unusual, if you're listening to us on a podcast or on the computer, uh, all you do is call country code 1, area code 323. The phone number is 520-6211. You got that? 
6211. Yes, Dean, yes. Islamabad, Pakistan called the program yesterday. And we have had calls from many, many countries already. If that's you, maybe you need some of this advice in another country, on another continent. Call one three two three five two zero sixty two eleven because the eight hundred number won't work outside the United States. One three two three five two zero sixty two eleven. It's like it's 101. Class is in session. Your telephone calls for your professor are coming up. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I called you and you let me know that I was a loser because I was paying for my girlfriend's college education while I was going to a lesser school. I dumped that bitch the next day. She was so confused and I just told her, like it's 101, baby. <laughs> That's like Zorro making the sign of the Z before he leaves. That's great. It's Like His 101 on the Tom Like His Show. It's Like His 101. I am your professor. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Dustin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hello. How you doing? Good. Tom, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, good news. Hey, I had a quick question for you. If somebody doesn't have the status, the recognition, by the way, I like what you're doing. It's a good service to society. A lot of people uh, in this day and age are getting taken advantage of. So that's good that you're standing for the common man. Now, it brings me to my question is the common man doesn't have the uh, the pull, the celebrity status, the the dough, the winery, housing, the uh, your lifestyle. So obviously that's going to put you in a, I don't know, if you want to call it a league, but uh, it's going to add some attraction into your game. So as a normal guy... Well, you have to understand, they, first of all, I was not always Tom Likas of the Tom Likas show. In fact, half of my life I was a nobody doing nothing. Right. I was an aspiring radio personality who used to work a day job. And uh, all of the uh, things that I have uh, talked about here uh, are based on years of being and feeling like nobody. These are right. not rules for people who make uh, seven figures. These are rules for anybody because you don't have to have money. You only have to appear to have money or potential. Okay. okay. And, and I've taught about this many times in this classroom. Uh, what do you do for a living, Dustin? I'm in sales, outside sales. What do you sell? Now, without being the name of the company, what do you sell? A transportation. You, what, do you sell cars? No, 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 no. It's uh, well, it's freight, freight and uh, shipping. Well, you own the company, Dustin. No, no, no. I don't own the company. Yes, you do. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Well, the, the, I guess I don't know. Eventually. I can get, I have game and, you know, I have success with women and all that. But eventually, you know, you're going to want to, you're not going to, you're not going to have the chips in your corner. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean eventually? Well, eventually you're going to be old. You're going to start to get bald in. You know, you're going to be done playing the field. Every, every girl's the same. Why would you be done? Uh, why would you ever be done playing the field? Because you're just not going to have the same real estate that you had when you were uh, when you're younger. Then player. you just have to tell a bigger lie. Eventually. That all you have to do is tell. You don't have to. First of all, I am the most settled down individual you'd ever want to meet. I own two homes. Uh -huh. I take care of my own home. I do my own shopping. My homes are immaculate. My uh, home here in Los Angeles, I've owned for eleven years. What's more settled down than that? Yeah, but you constantly have to look for girls, and they come to you, I guess, because your time like is. That doesn't mean I'm not settled. That doesn't mean I'm not settled down. Too. And let me correct you. Uh, not everybody knows who I am, especially women, because the show is aimed at guys. So you, you're not you're not settled. You're looking for girls. I'm not. Uh, no, women. no, I am settled. I'm looking for girls to have sex with, but I am settled. Is that not a hunt? Is that not effort? Is that not something? It's, that you need to it, it doesn't mean I'm not settled. I look okay. for stocks to buy. I look for places to go on vacation. It doesn't mean I'm not settled. No, I know, but I mean, eventually you're going to want to stop. Why do, gonna, you, why, why, do you assume, why do you assume that? You why would you assume that? 
I got you. So new, so new, the new is the better, of course. But I mean, you've been in love, so eventually you're gonna find a woman that fits the bill for everything. Why do you assume that? Well, there's got to be somebody out there that turns you on. You have great sex with is, uh, you know, cool. That doesn't give you too much crap. Uh, again, uh, it's not worth it to have them move into my place. Yeah, but you know that any woman worth their salt. If it was somebody that actually was that was, you know, good for you. And that, that filled, filled your needs, because your need is to have an exciting uh, sex life. That's the top priority. I yeah, but, but guess what? If you found a woman that turned you on and drove you crazy like that, you're telling I, me I am old enough to do. know and mature enough and experienced enough to know that that's yeah. how it is the first six months you're with somebody, and after a while it starts to slide. Okay. okay. So it is not, you're always better off uh, leasing instead of buying. I know what I'm saying is if you don't have the money to lease, then what do you do? You can't be. But, can't but be you don't have to have that by point. You girls. only have to appear to have money. You don't have to actually That's have it. That's true. But then it's just a big lie. And then you can't expect uh, the woman not to be lying to you about everything. Who else. cares what she's lying about? You just want what you want and then get out. That's true. That's true. Have you ever heard if you never lie, you never have to remember your story? Again. If if you date people for a short period of time, whatever lies you tell, it doesn't matter. By the time she finds out, you've moved on anyway. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. But isn't that kind of like a professional con man kind of deal? Because you're lying your whole Sure. Week. So what? <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Now, I say if nobody ever settles down and this never happens, they never knock anybody up. Then what is that? What? How does that vote for the human race? I really what don't happens? care. You know what? I'm not here to help the human race. I'm here for me. No, yeah, but who's gonna who's gonna do all your services? Uh, who's gonna, who's well, gonna do brain yeah, oh no, no, I, I, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who's gonna shine my shoes: the children of the poor and stupid. And they'll right, well, they, will gonna continue, home, gonna, uh, they will continue. Who's gonna who's gonna work get, on your brain? Who's gonna remove cancer? Who's gonna do all that? That's again, some uh, people are reproducing. Believe me, I am the uh, product of uh, super poor parents. We need smart people around. No, again, it, intelligence is not necessarily inherited. But if only stupid people reproduce, then we're going to we're headed towards. I just uh, said to you, intelligence is not necessarily hereditary; it skips generations. Okay, so two, so two, I guess, uh, imbeciles could have a doctor. Yes, it happens often. Are you going to let that guy work on your head? Yep. How did you know? Do you, by the way, you got a doctor? Who are his parents? Do you know them? <laughs> no, that's true. That's right. But I bet you they had some brains in them. Don't be so sure. Don't be so sure. I got gotcha. you. I think quality people should reproduce. No? They should. I, I, again, I don't care what other people do. I don't want to do it. You're and affected I, by quality people. I what? You're affected by quality people. So that doesn't mean I, people, but I want quality a quality people. life for me, which means I don't want to reproduce, and I don't want some hag trailing after me demanding money to pay for that little crumb cruncher. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. All right, so let the other people raise children. And, and, and me, I want to have a great life of traveling and owning beautiful houses, owning beautiful cars, going to amazing vacations and amazing locations. So your show is not for everybody, then, just for the elite? No, no. Again, you well, would, you would, you, do, you, would be, you would have more money if you didn't waste it on women and having children. Gotcha. But you're in a society where people reproduce. You don't have to reproduce. In fact, you're in a society where we really don't need to reproduce. You know, I I, I have dated women from some Latin American countries. No. And they come from families of 12, families of 14, families of 9, families of 17. And then they come here and they assume that they're just going to continue doing that here. And I have said to them point blank, I said, you know, when you lived in Venezuela or Panama, you needed to have siblings in order to work on the farm. But we don't do it that way here. You don't need to do that. Right, right. But we're, rely we're relying on a faulty gene pool to produce the skilled science. That's not, I, Dustin, why would you waste your life worrying about that? Because I'm living in this world. I have, I'm affected by it. I like smart people. They no, but by, the, but by the time your kids are grown, you'll practically be dead. Who cares? Enjoy your life. <laughs> so don't care about the future? Let what the dumb, and, let the dumb and the poor do the reproducing. All right. Hey, have you ever seen the movie Idiocracy? Not yet, but I, I've been hearing that people say I should look at that DVD, and I'm going to.
you got to check it out. Basically, it's a world of retards. And that's what happens when all the stupid people reproduce and the smart people well, don't. Well, I, I don't know if you've looked around. It is the the poor and the stupid who do most of the reproducing, and they've been doing it for generations. I got gotcha. you. Either way, two smart people are going to have to have kids eventually, so that way we... It, we uh, that two smart parents can produce a retard. Do you understand? They can. Of course, of course. So we're, I just want to just want to clarify. We're I have a to... super high IQ, and my uncle, my brother's, uh, my father's brother, uh, was a mental retard. Do you understand? It, yeah. You can have both in a family. Okay, so I just want to clarify. Can I clarify what? I want to clarify that we're we're going to be relying on the future. In our I life. don't care about dead. the future. I couldn't care less. It's not my problem up your life you want to sacrifice by having children and take them to Disney World every summer instead of the south of France you go right ahead okay so if you never if you never settle down and you never find somebody to, to stop chasing tail then how, you're telling me I am you are you not again I, are you deaf are you deaf I told you I am as settled down as any man can be So how can I mean, you know you're not? You got new girls coming all the time. I had, that doesn't down. mean I'm not settled no down. I have a home. I have a beautiful home. It is clean. It is welcoming. I have friends. I have uh, a great job. My bills are paid. My credit uh, score is over 800. We're not talking about finances. We're talking about it's girls. all if about hunter, settling down. That is what settling down is all about. If a hunter stops hunting, he's going to starve. Uh, well, hunt. fine. If, if you get married stuff. and then you end up getting divorced, how settled down are you compared to me? We're in the same boat. But the idea is that if your wife leaves you and 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 you're boo hoo hoo and living in the now renting apartments over uh, uh, in uh, Studio City, and I'm living in my two houses and I'm uh, as settled as I can. Who's more settled, me or you? You. Right. And I, I am but settled. But I'm in the same position as you, though, see? I, no, you're not in the same position as me because I would have two wonderful homes and all of this wealth, and you would have flushed it away on broads. No, not, not with the prenup. You spend more money on girls than a guy that was married would if he had to No, I don't. No? No. On all these, on all these first dates? No. Trying to impress them? No. no. I don't try to impress anybody. I couldn't care less. All those spots that you eat at that you talk about. Your lifestyle is expensive. I, and who do I go with? Who do for? I go with? Last night, last night, I went to a really fantastic little place over here on Vine Street in Hollywood called Lou. Great wine list. Fantastic food. I had a flat iron steak from Nyman Ranch. It absolutely killed. Nice. And who did I go with? I went with my friend Adam Lehman, the uh, sommelier of the stars. That's who I went with. You think I'd waste that money on some chick? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that lifestyle definitely. Work. Look, you're living the life. That's that's awesome. But the layman. But if I it, look, life. if it was so red, lo if, all if all I could afford was red, if all I could afford was red lobster, I wouldn't waste it on a chick. Do you don't hear me? The layman needs more to get tail. To no, get he tail. He no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. What he needs is a good story. You're telling me your whole audience is as slick as you to get these girls? Well, again, if you've got no game, there's nothing I can do about it, and I'm sick of this conversation. Thank you. Pissing me off. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's like us 101. I am your professor, Billy. Hello. What's shaking, Tom? Hey, there's some bacon a little later on tonight, probably. <laughs> Pork and beans, baby. Um, what I'm calling to say is, bro, I do, I've listened to, uh, you know, talk radio hosts now for years, and nobody ha ha that I've heard ha has the balls to actually let somebody on their show try to slam them and, you know, doesn't have the balls to let them, even they usually screen people out like that, and they try to sugarcoat it. But you, my friend, will let somebody actually try to get in a pissing contest with you, and then you they lose anyways. But that's what I think that I have total respect for that, man, because you have the balls to, to let that happen and not sugarcoat nothing. I have right nothing on, to hide, dude. and I have nothing to be afraid of. That's right. I, and you know what? You're not a phony. You're, you're for real. And that's what I dig about your show. I'm not trying to play, you know, ask kiss rodeo here, but it's true. I, I've never heard a radio host actually just have the balls to let somebody come up, try to slam you, and then, uh, 
you just tear them down like like a like a brick of cards, man. And it's great. I, I love lo- I love when they try to tear me down. Anybody who disagrees with your professor, call now. We will put you right to the top of the list. People don't realize that you know you're on top for a reason, and that's because you work your ass off. You you know so. You know, these jealous knuckleheads that don't have a penny to their name, that's because they're losers. You are absolutely right about that, Billy. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The advice you give us is worth more than money. It's worth my weight in gold. It's the Tom Likas Show. Jennifer on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Professor. Let me ask you a question. Yes. <laughs> um, I agree with uh, mostly everything that you say. Uh, you make me laugh so much. I just want to tell you thank you. My drives home are just really fun. Oh, good. With you. And uh, my question is, I, I agree with when you say, you know, most women, girls, they, they need to be treated like crap because that's what they like. But I mean, you, you strike me as a as an intelligent and a, a funny and a charming man. Do you think that, I mean, do you treat them like crap all the time? Well, uh, put it this way. I'm talking about dating. I'm not talking about marriage or right. living together. Okay. It's but, dating. Yeah. But don't you think, like, some of your, you know, some of your confidence and your charm could easily, you know, easily let you bone a girl rather than, like, it, Too know, much work. <laughs> I see. The I see. easiest way to get inside a girl's panties is to treat her like crap. Oh, I guess you're right. For so, for I guess you're right. For most for most women and girls, they're why do why do you think they like that? Uh, I think they assume that men are jerks, and frankly, uh, most women don't respect guys who are nice guys. That's true because they can just run all over them. And I I kind of was thinking about your caller before how I think he's just lacking confidence. Like, nice guys he, are the guys you marry. Yeah. So think about it. I'll bet you know at least one woman like this, all right? A woman who gets married to Poindexter, but you've known her for a long time. And in the past, she banged the ski instructor, the tennis instructor, the failing musician, the actor, the male model, the Chippendales guy. <laughs> and they were all hotter than hot. Every one of them hot, 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 hot. But Poindexter, you know what? The guy's reliable, dependable. You know he's coming home to dinner tonight at 6.30. He's like an old car. (laughs) Yes. And so you sit there with the power tools while Poindexter's out at work, and you think back at all the hot guys you were with before, but Poindexter sires your children. Yeah. So I don't want to be the nice guy that you want to marry. I want to be the jerk that you later tell your husband, oh, you, you know who I, honey... You're not going to believe this. You know who I once dated? That Tom Likas. What a creep. <laughs> oh, but he was great in the sack. Right? But, but that's the thing. <laughs> I had her before Poindexter did. Do you know how many women are out there right now who I had before they got married? I, I believe you. Some I've of them wouldn't even married. dare tell their husbands because you know, God knows where I've been. Would. huh? Yeah, I don't think they would. I think they'd be scared. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? The thing is, there's women out there right now who can think back to the days when I had them up against the wall at the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood yeah, or any number of other places. Yeah, but you weren't a jerk to them all the time, though. Oh, yes. Yes, Aww. I was. But you see, again, they went off and married the nice guy. Yeah. So yeah, I guess if that's what you if that's what you want, you just want tails. So so that's but that's what this is. You see, again, yeah. women can't understand. This is a course telling guys how to get laid. This is not yeah. a course telling guys how to fall in love. That's right. Uh, you're right. How to I'm woo right. somebody. This isn't wooing one hundred and one. <laughs> that's not what this is. It's about getting laid. It is. If you want to get laid, treat women like crap. That's right. I got it. I got it. I was thinking about it the other way around. Thank you for thank you for letting me know. Just remember, dear, that yes. any married person could tell you the difference between 
getting married and getting laid. Yeah, you get married, you don't get laid. That's that's my <laughs> point. All right, Tom. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, darling. Bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Chris of Like Us 101. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I'm a recent listener of your show. Uh, actually, was turned on by a coworker. We sit in cubicles in an office, and uh, pretty much when I first listened to you, I was like, I don't believe this guy, what he's saying, but I've been listening to you recently. Almost got married, and because of you, I didn't. Broke up with my fiance. Uh, I've been having the time of my life, actually, now that I've been not having been with her. Um, pretty much, you spoke to me. <laughs> I had an epiphany just one day, you know, and I was like, my God, this guy's right. Like, the whole thing, I was raised by a, a single parent, by my mom. So I was whipped, you know, and I kind of dawned on me that was happening. I stopped that, and then I, did, I told the girl, you know, we're not going to get married. She was pushing me. She wanted to have kids. She wanted me to pay for everything. I took the ring back, dumped her, and uh, it's been great ever since. And I did that two months ago, and I must say these last two months, I've used that to my uh, advantage when I go out now. I tell them, you know, I've learned that I can use pity to get laid now. I just tell them, hey, this is what happened to me. You know, I just use that. And I'm happier. I meet more women. I i don't know what to say. I just want to say thank you. Well, I, I, that's a success story I love to hear. Yeah. It, how, by the way, how did your ex deal with it when you uh, bailed? She wasn't too happy. Actually, when I called her and told her, you know, I wanted the ring back, she said that she was doing me a favor by actually returning it to me, you know, and uh, she wasn't too happy. She's actually been calling me recently to tell me how much she misses me, that she wants to get back with me, and I'm just not having it. I tell her, hey, you know what, I moved on. I'm actually stronger. You know, I'm standing up for myself. I go, I've made a lot of mistakes with you, and I'm actually 180. I'm not doing what I did before. Really? Uh, yeah. I told her straight up. I was like, you know what? You used and abused me. You know, I said I was raised by a single parent. You know, I, that's, I was listening to, uh, you know, Tom Likas, following his ways now. You know, I have to stand up for myself, and I've actually, like, I, I don't want to say it, but I've been laid a lot more now because I've, you know, done that. Stand up for myself. You know, I'm not all pussy whipped. And it's sad is that there's a lot of guys out there, you know, uh, and nowadays they're raised by single parents. And that really hit hard at home, you know, hearing that, that, uh, that you know, that happens. But, you know, that was me, and I'm not like that anymore. In the past two, three months, my life has changed, basically. And like I said, she calls every day. She's not happy that I'm like this, you know, but I'm happier not being with her. You know, and uh, but yeah, she does call all the time, bugging me. And, uh, I don't pick up. I just look at my caller ID and hit ignore. And, you know, I moved on. I am so. very, very proud of you, Chris. Really, I am. I thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Todd on Like Us One Hundred One with your professor. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, long time listener, first time caller. Yes. Thank you for letting me in the classroom today. Sure. I have a question. Um, do you think it's possible to have it all? Meaning have have the freedom, have a job that pays well, have the money, and have a wife and have kids no. to be content? No. Freedom and marriage do not go together. It's, so you think it's absolutely impossible yes. to have that? Yes. You don't have freedom when you're married. Even if you have the perfect wife? That, that uh, Again, marriage is slavery. Really? Well, I'm still getting laid. By whom? My wife. That's not freedom. You are limited to one person forever. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I guess I guess I've learned to make the best of it, and I don't, I guess. Well, if I you're happy, I'm... then that's great, but trust me when I tell you. Uh, you know, that's not freedom. Now, do you think, don't you think it could be worth a little more if you had somebody... What for? That, ...that got to share all of your traveling and your life experiences with you as you I, 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 I would much rather uh, share my travel experiences with people who, uh, who pay their own way. And, uh, you know, maybe I want to have a different experience with a different person. 
and you don't want to have like a kid that gets to learn from you and grow up and want to be like you? I've got thousands of children who are learning from me. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I just wanted to ask you that, Professor, because uh, I, I, I personally think he can have it all. And well, you think that, but uh, but guess what? I I can have a 24-year-old hot, hot chick who I've never seen naked before, and you can't. Yeah, but my wife's, my wife's been that hot chick, and I can always have Well, her. that's great. You can have her in your memory, but uh, I can have one tonight. <laughs> All right, Tom. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. To I'm glad to I gave you a good laugh today. All right, Tom. Take care. All right. Yes, my wife was that. Everybody's wife was that. And then they got married. Now they're not that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Gil on Like Us 101. Hello. Hey, Tom. I just want to say give you praise for all the uh, continuous talk you've been doing for us. But a lot of guys, they're not understanding of that. You know what? You don't want to limit your options. And I totally agree with what you said. Lease, not buy. That's right. Yeah, and you know what? I've followed your advice. I've followed uh, advice of some certain other uh, websites, but I've been a first-time li first time caller, uh, long-time listener since uh, 98. Love that. Yeah, and you know what? It's worked for me, and you know what? It's been the best life. I mean, you, you all you have to do is concentrate on yourself, and that's all that matters. And make it a better quality of your own own life before you can settle with others. But you know what's the use of settling if someone's just going to drag you down? And remember, the morons who are breeding. Just remember, they're not doing it to improve the world. It's just one big ego trip for them. Exactly, exactly. And you know what? That's the wrong. Well, that's the one thing wrong with guys. They got to let go of the ego and just go go for what they what they what they want to do and be free. Right. You know, and uh, you know what? I praise you for all this, all these uh, talks, all you've been giving all these years. Gil, thank you for 10 years of loyal service. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, giving advice. And uh, hopefully uh, 100% of the listeners are listening. But you know, some of these callers are just, you know, I got you, but I don't, they don't get it. Yeah, they're dense. What could I say? Uh, I guess, you know what? You, you are one of the few who, who was, who's a leader, not a follower, and lead by example, brother. Thank you for that. Okay, take care. Appreciate the call. Pete. On Like Us 101, hello. Yeah, Tom? Yeah. Hey, how's it going, bro? Uh, Great. Just wondering if you could help me out for a second. Um, kind of going through some issues right now. I'm actually um, having some trouble with my uh, relationship right now. Why? You're 24. Uh, Why do you have a relationship? Uh, the thing is, uh, you know, I, I'm young, but... You so know, you've got no game. No, I got plenty of games, son. So, exactly. so then, why do you need to have a, a relationship? Uh, well, I've been um, actually, you know, dating this girl for three months. So, but the thing is, uh, I think her mom, you know, wants to do something with me or something because every time I go over, she's either uh, winking at me. And uh, as a matter of fact, last week when I went over, her daughter was taking a shower, and she was trying to invite me into her room. You know, and I didn't do it. So that's what that's what I'm calling for you. I don't know what to do. You know, should I just mess up this relationship and just go ahead and do it? But then if I do do it, then I'll just I'll feel bad about it. Why will you feel bad about it? Uh, you know, she's, you know, she's a real nice girl, and you know, just how many guys get this opportunity? <laughs> yeah, but you know. Uh... Yeah. It, I, it, it's wrong. If you, you know, weren't I, interested, you wouldn't be calling here. I was just, I was just wondering, you know, what, what should I do? Or again, I, if you weren't interested, you wouldn't be calling me. Don't pretend you're not interested. That's why you're calling. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I am actually, but. It's wrong, you know. It's it's just it's wrong. I I don't know. I I I I don't see myself going through it. You know, this girl she doesn't deserve that. You know, I'm just. Huh? Then 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 why are you calling here? Just you know, one 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 your advice. You know, I mean, just my advice: don't be in a relationship, and then you can do whatever you want. But you don't want my advice. You want a rubber stamp, and you're not gonna get it. The Tom Likas Show.